Hey everybody, Justin with Basemap here, and I'm here to talk to you about an additional feature that was added into Basemap in the last update. If you haven't updated Basemap yet, be sure to check the App Store and look for 4.0. That is the most current version. Uh, and if you actually don't have Basemap yet, go to the App Store or Google Play and download it. It's free, and you'll automatically have the most current version, the one I'm going to be talking about right now. And with that, I'm going to ask that you guys hit subscribe on YouTube for us. It's always going to be the first place that you see up-to-date information, uh, tutorials and reviews on, on the new interface. Anything going forward uh, from hunting content to tutorials, like I said, or talking about you know, updates like this or additional features that get added down the road, YouTube is always the first place it's going to go. So hit subscribe, hit the notification bell and keep giving us those comments. It's, it's where we go to, to to get a lot of the features that are gonna get integrated. We try to answer a lot of questions via the comments, so throw anything out there you guys have, hit subscribe, it's really big for us, so we appreciate that. But back to the app, if anyone has seen the, the new video from Eastman's Hunting Journal that went out last week about the mule deer migrations. This was kind of alluded to. Uh, we had a hand in that with those guys, along with Sportsman's Warehouse, Cryptech, Mystery Ranch, and the Mule Deer Foundation. Uh, there's a link in the description for that video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's, it's eye-opening, to say the least, but uh, that may have alluded to this partnership. So I'm excited to announce that Basemap has exclusively partnered with Eastman's Hunting Journals to bring you more hunt data in the hunt research that's available for just $10. This is an extra hunt planning tool that's available to both basic and pro members, again, just for 10 bucks. And I'm gonna show you on the computer here exactly what's included and how this looks on the map. But as I said, this is really exciting for us. It's exclusively for Basemap. And the availability of this data is really designed just to give Basemap users a one-stop shop for, for all this exclusive data. You know, it's, it's no secret that Eastman's is an authority in the research space when it comes to Western big game hunting. Uh, they narrow everything down for you based on draw odds, um, trophy potential, the percentage of public land per unit, per animal. Um, I'll, I'm gonna break it all down right here on the screen and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. But the idea here was to, to give base map users one single place to go to find all that information by state and by species instead of having to gather it all from every reg book you know depending on what tag they might draw or for that matter apply for so uh, just another really cool integration to base map that's going to help you guys really focus in on the details and plan that hunt down to the very last detail and overall hopefully help increase your odds draw on that tag so I'm gonna dive into the computer here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the web version, and then I'm gonna hop over to the phone and show you what it looks like on mobile. All right, so I've got my map squared up to Utah right here, centered in the screen. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is locate this layers tab on the left-hand side. Click on that and it will bring in every layer just like you're used to. And like I said, you have to have that $10 hunt research package and you're going to see it right here. So you want to click on hunting. And the very first thing you see is Eastman's hunting research. So click on that to expand and it brings up Arizona, Utah, and Wyoming. Um, as you expand those different states, it's going to show you the species options, just like all of the other hunt data does uh, within base maps hunt research. So kind of cool there. It's broken down species specific. Um, I'm going to focus on Utah. And I'm going to pick, uh, let's say, Desert Bighorn, just for an example. And then it drops it down so you see it as a layer, just like it would be if it was public land or private land boundaries. Or... So click on that, and it's going to populate the map with some colors. And as you zoom in on, those, on the map, you're going to see those colors. They're all labeled with what tag unit they are or what mountain range they are. However, the state defines the, the unit itself, but uh, as you can tell, they're all color coded and the colors are a representation of the classification of trophy potential that Eastman's has given it. So I'm going to click on, oh, I'll just click on San Juan South for an example here. And it opens up this box. You can see there's some, some bubbles right here that indicate there's multiple pages. So as you navigate across that, it gives you the owner name, the name of the unit, uh, the acreage. You've got a section here that tells you how much of it is BLM. Again, the acreage there. 
the San Juan South, and here's the trophy quality rating. So this one's a D. Obviously, that was going to be one of the lower lower quality areas. Uh, it's a ranking just like it was in school, A, B, C, D. So uh, this is at the bottom of the list, but here is the trophy unit, San Juan South. Trophy quality potential is D, and these are all the things that you really want to pay attention to if you're in that application process and, you know, putting in for those particular units because this will tell you exactly what to expect out of that unit if you do draw the tag. So one person drew that had 22 points and one person got one on a random drawing at 0.46 of a percent it was their odds. Uh, terrain difficulty of four out of five so that's pretty rugged. Um, but here's what's cool too is the success rates. Again this is Desert Bighorn and you can see all the way back to 2016, the success rates were at 100%. Everyone who's hunted here has killed a sheep, even though it is a D level of trophy potential. So, um, you know, obviously the animals are there. They're just not at the trophy level as, you know, what an A would be. Overall, they've given it a grade of a C. So. I'm going to pick a different one here just to show you the opposite end of the spectrum. The blue is going to be your highest graded, your best areas. Again, you see the bubbles, multiple pages here. So uh, BLM, a little over 2 million acres worth. And getting into all that same, that same information, uh, trophy quality is listed as an A. So this is where you're going to find your, your best caliber animals, uh, the season date. Uh, again, there's three tags given out to people who had 22 points, um, non-resident draw odds information, again 100% success rate and number of rams taken eight uh, with an average age of almost seven years old. Bases were 14.4 inches with a beam length of or a horn length of 32 and a half. Uh, overall grade is A. So again orange is your D rating, blue is going to be your A rating and then the yellow and green are obviously going to be in between there. But um, to me, this is just as valuable in the application process as it is once I get the tag. So if you've got a bunch of points and you want to cash them in, you know exactly that, you know, what you're getting into and they're not going to go to waste. You're going to be able to focus on those on those A plus rating trophy areas. And again, it goes it goes by species. So we could change this up just like before you go to your active layers, turn that off come back over here and let's just pick um, I'll pick Rocky Mountain Elk turn that one on and now here's the areas as they're defined for Rocky Mountain Elk in the state of Utah you get the idea this is just this is tailored to any species in any of these states Oop, wrong button Rocky Mountain Bighorn turn that one on and there's the trophy units for Rocky Mountain Bighorn. So again, incredible tool in the application and the planning process. Uh, I'm going to dive into the phone, into the mobile application here. It, it's exactly the same thing. I just want to show you what the menus look like. All right, with the mobile app, uh, you, when you open it up, just like always, everything syncs. So the layers I had turned on on the web version are still on on the mobile version. You can see this was the Rocky Mountain Bighorn. So I'm going to go into my layers button there. And again, just go down to the bottom to that hunting tab. And still at the top of the list is Eastman's Hunting Research. If you click on active layers, you still see Eastman's Utah Sheep. So I'm going to turn that off real quick. Go back into the hunt data. This time I'm going to pick Wyoming just for the sake of a different example. But um, I will turn on Rocky Mountain Elk in Wyoming. Now just X out of that and go back to your map screen and there's the whole state of Wyoming broken down with Rocky Mountain Elk Trophy units. Again, same color coding system, same classifications. All you do is click on the area. I'm going to click on 100 right there, the blue, and it brings up all that same information that we just went over on the web version. There's non-resident 2019 minimum points drawn so there was 18.9 there again it just it goes down the entire list for his weapon the public land percentage trophy quality here is an a 
uh, trophy forecast is excellent. If you happen to pull this tag or if you apply for this tag, you're going to be shooting the bull of a lifetime for sure. Uh, tag quota, there's 200 tags available. And non-resident random draws, there's one person who gets that. But, um, man, again, just an incredible resource. Let me turn that one off, and I'll go into Arizona, turn on antelope in Arizona. X out of that, pan over here to Arizona, and there's the trophy antelope units for Arizona. Same system, same colors, all the same information available for every species in all three states. And I can't say enough about how awesome this is and how much of a resource this is for everyone on base map. One more incredible resource jam-packed with valuable information to help you guys in that planning phase of your hunt. So whether you're filling out applications or you've actually drawn a tag and you want to see what kind of animals are in that unit, you know, get an idea of what to expect. You can dive into that Eastman's MRS data. It's available to every base map subscriber at both the pro and the basic subscription levels. All you have to do is add on that $10 hunt research data package and you're going to get actually a heck of a lot more than just what's right here. But for all that Eastman's MRS data, that's where it's going to live. You're going to see it at the top of the list, just like I showed you on the computer and on the phone. And you know, with that, I just have to ask you guys one more time, please hit that subscribe button. It helps us so much. If you don't understand what it means to see that subscriber number increase on a daily basis, it's also more engaging for us to be able to, to reach you guys, answer your questions, and just help you guys learn the, learn the software if you need. And it's always where you're going to find new information on updates and new additional features just like the MRS data. So hit subscribe. We appreciate it so much. And lastly, I want to say how much we appreciate Eastman's Hunting Journal for the opportunity in this partnership. Good luck to everyone who's got applications in right now. And if you haven't yet filled out the ones that are still open, don't forget to do that. Check the websites and hopefully you're going to be on that next hunt of a lifetime with base map in your pocket.